Hey there, it's Naturals Marty. I'm in search of a sycamore tree, Platinus occidentalis, also known as the American sycamore, American plane tree, and buttonwood because of the shape of its seed pods. This is a central and eastern distribution tree, big tree, and it grows, really thrives in wet habitats. So that's where I am. I'm near a creek, I'm near a stream. It's in this bottomland forest. Let's go find one. Just as I figured, get down to this stream, we'd find one of these sycamores. They really enjoy keeping their roots wet. Now, how am I gonna get us a closer look? You can tell that's a sycamore by taking a look at the creamy white bark, cut with blotches of green and brown. Let's get a closer look. These trees can have a huge diameter at the base, the largest of any of our deciduous trees, three to eight feet in diameter. As they age, it's gonna be brown, but again, look at this almost camouflage-like bark. So it's creamy white with blotches, flaky blotches of green and brown. Though unrelated to a maple, the leaves of a sycamore are strikingly similar. So what you'll have is a leaf that's four to six inches in diameter. It's gonna have one, two, three to five lobes, and the margins are coarsely toothed. Now the fresh green leaves are gonna be smooth on top, and they're gonna have a cotton-like fuzz underneath, especially the young ones. Thanks for coming along to identify the sycamore tree. Super easy tree to identify, even in winter when the tree is leafless you'll spot that camel bark pretty easily. Now Riverside, as this tree grows with potential of 80 or 90 feet, the bark will turn more white, making it even easier to spot at a distance. But be advised, there is a lookalike, a sneaky hybrid called the London Plane Tree, planted roadside in suburbs and cities. Thanks for coming along to identify the American sycamore. Happy trails.